Hi everyone, welcome you all to 74 days to cat solving faster and better and today we'll be talking about logarithms. So let's begin understanding some of the key basics. A logarithm to the base let's say 5. I have anything here. Basically what it does is let's say I have 25 here. It converts 25 as a power of the base. So 25 as the power of the base can be written as 5 square returns 2 as the output right similarly if i have log 3 i have 1 by 3 what will what will it do convert 1 by 3 into some power of 3 which is minus 1 so the output is minus 1 that's how basically a logarithm operates talking about some of the key properties of logarithms so log m into n is log m plus log n similarly log m by n is equal to log m minus log n Apart from this, we have log m base n can be written as log m upon log n where I can choose a base. If I have log m to the power x, this becomes x log m. This x basically comes and multiplies. Right? I hope this is clear to you. Apart from this, if you have something like log m n, here you have x, here you have y. So this becomes y comes here in denominator. Let's use these properties to solve some of the very interesting problems. Here I have 1 by 3 log m base 3. I can write this as log m base 3. 1 by 3 goes to the power here. I can write this as log n base 3. Here 3 goes in the power. Now I have a plus here. So log m plus log n. I can write it as log base 3 multiplication of the 2. That is given to us as 1 log 0.008 into 5 now here 1 can be written as log 0.008 base 0.008 right log m plus log n is log m into n so this becomes log of base 0.008 0.008 into 5 that becomes 0.04 this is nothing but 0.2 square this is 0.2 cube I can take this as multiplication, I can take this as division, this becomes 1. So log base 3 m to the power 1 by 3 n cube is equal to 2 by 3. Now if I take, I take out logarithm, so this becomes 3 to the power 2 by 3, right? Now if I just take a cube, both sides, so this becomes m n to the power 9 is equal to 3 square, which is 9. So n to the power 9 will become 9 by m so answer option b moving forward what is the sum of n terms now log i have m so what will happen it's in addition so it will get multiplied within logarithm m m square m cube going on till m to the power n divided with n n square going on till n minus 1 by n minus 1 there are total n terms but here i have n to the power 0 so it will move on till l to the power minus 1. Now just do the summation m to the power 1 plus 2 plus 3 till n, n into n plus 1 by 2. Here it will 1 till n minus 1. So n minus 1 into n by 2. Now if I take n by 2, common goes in the power. m to the power n plus 1 and n to the power n minus 1. Answer is answer option D. Now here I have log 2 base 3, log 2 to the power x minus 5 base 3. These are in AP. 2 log 3 2 to the power x minus 5 must be equal to log 2 base 3 plus log 2 to the power x minus 7 by 2 base 3. Here also we have a base 3. I can write this as square. I can write this as multiplication log base 3 2 into this. Now if I just take out log from here, this becomes 2 to the power x minus 5 square is equal to 2 into 2 to the power x minus 7 by 2. Let's take for simplicity 2 to the power x as y. So this becomes y minus 5 whole square. So y square minus 10 y plus 25 is equal to 2 y minus 7. This becomes y square minus 12 y plus 32 is equal to 0. Now y is equal to 4 y is equal to 8. Very very simply y is 2 to the power x. So 2 to the power x is equal to 4 2 to the power x is equal to 8. If I take 2 to the power x as 4, then here the input becomes negative. Always remember, there is the input in a logarithm cannot be negative. There is no number, you know, that you can put in here that can be negative. So 2 to the power x 
equal to 4 goes for a toss. 2 to the power x is equal to 8 is justified. So x becomes equal to 3. Answer is answer option D. Moving forward, we have log base 2 power 1. So if I take the first log out, then I can write it as log x square minus x plus 37 base 7 is 2 to the power 1, which is 2. If I take the second log out, I can write it as x square minus x plus 37 is equal to 7 square. Now this becomes x square minus x minus 12 is equal to 0. So x minus 4 into x plus 3 is equal to 0. x is equal to 4 is a very very simple solution in this case. I hope this is clear to you. Moving forward, I similar to the last question, I have log 7. So this becomes 7 to the power 0 which is 1. I'll take the second one, 5 to the power 1 which is equal to 5. Root over x plus 5 plus root over x is equal to 5. Now quite simply, if you know the Pythagoras theorem, try you know seeing if you can apply this here. If I put 4 is I put 4 here, this becomes 3. If I put 4 here, this becomes 2. 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. So answer is none of these. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned. Thank you so much for joining in. God bless you all. Take care. Bye bye.